nice. <laughs> hey. Nice to see you again. Good to see you too. I had forgotten that we had actually met before, but you uh, you provided our producer with this shot. This is this is you and me and Vanderbeek. Yes, sir. Right there at a party, <laughs> like you do the Young Hearts Just Robs party out. together. Yeah. <laughs> so does this mean that I'm officially in the Dawson's Creek family? Gang. Yeah, we're going to oh, Photoshop excellent. you into the entire show. From Fantastic. Yeah, no, I'll try to lose some weight. Yeah, the next now, edition of the DVD. Um, you and I have something in common, is that I have been told that you. You say you owe your career. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I know I'm a little <laughs> emotional too. <laughs> I just swallowed my pride. You said <laughs> you owe your career to John Stewart too. Yes. How do you? Why do you owe your? Why? Because he's the reason I got thrown out of my second high school. And if I had actually done something constructive with my time instead of watching his TV show, I probably wouldn't have had to make it as an actor because there was no other option. For what, me. The Daily Show? <laughs> no, no, the original one. The John so, Stewart Show. John Stewart the, Show. The syndicated, yeah. the syndicated so show. So it was rebroadcast. I grew up in Vancouver and it was rebroadcast from a Seattle station. We got Van City in the house? Oh! Yes! Yeah. Okay. Um, the, sorry. No, that's all right. <laughs> um, we're all very proud Canadians. Um, and so. <laughs> I'm just going to keep on throwing out places. Sure, and just why see, not? Yeah. Hey, Manitoba! <laughs> wow. Thanks. Okay. So, wait what? a second. So, you're, you're, how old are you now? I'm you're in high school. Yeah. What year are we talking? Uh, no, no, not now. Oh. In the story. Oh, how in the story, story? I'm uh, 14, 15. 14, 15. Yeah. So, this is like 94, 95, something, yeah. something like that. Okay, yeah. I remember that show. So, he's getting rebroadcast, but I don't know why they put it on at 1.30. So, I would stay up every night to watch the 1.30 show, which kept me up to 2.30, which meant that clearly I wasn't going to make my first class. So, I just didn't. And then when I did that enough, they were like, well, since you don't want to come in the morning, you might as well not come in the afternoon either. Wait, so this, you said this is your second high school? Yeah. What happened with the first high school? The, fir the first high school, I got kicked out. Of, it was like an arts school, a public school, but an arts school, and I got kicked out for starting my professional career. <laughs> I'm not kidding about that. What? The woman who ran the... Oh, this is terrible. I'm about to say something mean about this woman. I haven't seen her in 25 years, and it turned out okay. So uh, she didn't like that I left the school to go work on a movie. I went to go do The Mighty Ducks. So when, she, when I came back, she said, you're not part of the school spirit, and we don't want you here. So then I had to go to my local school. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But maybe you weren't part of the school spirit. I mean, I certainly was not once they kicked me out. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, now you're on Broadway, making your Broadway yes. debut in Children of a Lesser God. And the, Last the night, whole... I am having one hell of a day today, let me tell you. <laughs> Last night was the debut? Last night was the debut. Oh, congratulations. Yeah, thank That's, you. Congratulations. Yeah, That's fantastic. You. Yeah. Well, um, it, 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 the whole play takes place in the mind of James Leeds. You're James Leeds. It's told in retrospect of his relationship with this woman who is, mm -hmm. who she's deaf, and, and it's your relationship. And did you, did you, under, did you know sign language before you started no, this? I had to learn sign language for this show. How long did you... How long did you have to learn? Well, so we did an out-of-town run a bit last summer. A large part was just to see if I could learn the language. So I had about four months running up to that, and now it's been about a year. Okay. So it's taken me a year to get fluent enough. I mean, I'm not fluent in ASL, which is a sure. different language, but fluent enough to be through the show. Okay, so because this is... <laughs> we've only done a year of this, yeah. and this is the sort of thing that becomes second nature for someone who's grown up with it. Um, do you get it wrong? Do you like... Oh, yeah, Sometimes I have made some spectacular mistakes, yeah. That, that the audience can tell or only she can tell? Well, I mean, depends. Who, who's your co-star, by the way? The, uh, her name is Lauren Ridloff. Amazing, yeah. amazing woman. And this is also not only her Broadway debut, but her acting debut. She is, I, I call her the pink unicorn. She is like this just completely unique thing in the world. I can't believe that she exists. She was teaching our director sign language, and he brought her in to do the read-through because he couldn't find a leading lady for the purposes of the read-through. And she came in and, like, blew the doors off, doesn't do it justice. I mean, we were doing a read-through, which is pretty dry stuff, and we get to the climactic scene of that read-through where the character uses her voice for the first and only time inside of the play, and she had told us the day before, like, look, I just need to, everybody to know, I haven't spoken out loud in 25 years, so I don't know what's going to come out at all. No idea. And we get into this thing, and she rips open her soul. I mean, it was, I mean, I'm, I get emotional just thinking about it. And I fell out, Kenny, our director, fell out. I look up, and all these crusty New York investor types are just bawling their eyes out. And like this electricity just happened in the room. And I'm 
and I'm, you know, it's that moment where I'm, well, first there's 10 pages left in the script. I'm like, you have got to get it together, together. And we finish, and I'm walking down 9th Avenue with, with Kenny, and, and we're both just like, if she can do that, that's the whole thing. I mean, that's it. That's our woman. And so she went from being a mom and a wife and, an, and a teacher to making her Broadway debut in 18 months. Oh. It's just astonishing. Yeah. And she's amazing. Amazing. So we got to go. We got to go. But you said that she catches you oh, and you get it wrong? Yeah. Right. So my most spectacular <laughs> so far. Oops. <laughs> screw up so far. Actually. That's two right hey, there. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to believe this anyway. So sure. I'm in the middle of a scene with Lauren, and I'm supposed to say the line, yesterday I had a lousy visit with your mother. But what I said was, yesterday I had a lousy <laughs> with your mother. <laughs> Small difference. <laughs> I'll be watching when that line comes up. <laughs> Children of a Lesser God is now on Broadway at Studio 54. Joshua Jackson, everybody. We'll be right back with a performance by John Prine with Sturgill Simpson and Brandy Carlisle. You're not going to want to talk in that group.